Hello everyone. Welcome to my new video lecture. In this video lecture, we'll see causes of harmonics. We know that in case of harmonics, we have voltage harmonics as well as we have current harmonics. Suppose we start with voltage harmonics, a pure sinusoidal voltage waveform that is just a hypothetical quantity. Practically, pure sinusoidal voltage waveform might not be possible. The voltage waveform, even at point of generation, contains small amount of distortion, and that may be because of non-uniformity in the excitation magnetic field, as well discrete spatial distribution of coils around the generator stator slots the voltage waveform distortion at point of generation that is very low distortion typically it is less than even 1% mainly the harmonics or distortion that is through the load side the user equipment generates currents that are rich in harmonic frequency component especially in very large commercial as well as industrial installations. As harmonic current travel to the power source, the current distortion results in additional voltage distortion due to impedance voltage associated with the various power distribution equipment like transmission and distribution lines, transformers, cables, buses, etc. This is known as a injected current harmonics. As we discussed that most of the harmonics are from the load side and we have from the load side currents are very rich in harmonic components and that is injected in the power system and through the various impedances it is transformed into voltage distortion. This is known as current distortion transformed into voltage distortion. Now this figure we can see easily that a voltage distortion gradient. Here we can see the voltage distortion gradient. On the source side, voltage distortion is very low. After transformer, we have load and harmonic current is generated from the load side and then it propagates to the power system. So voltage distortion on the load side because of current distortion is transformed into voltage distortion because of system impedance. We have very high voltage distortion on the, on the load side. It is not correct that voltage distortion is always from the current side or current distortion transformed into voltage distortion. In certain condition, for example, if we have static uh, UPS system, in case of UPS system, we know that first AC power is converted into DC and then through the inverter, DC power is again converted back to AC. In this process, the generated voltage waveform through the inverter that is already having a very high voltage distortion. On the load side, we have current distortion mostly because of non-linear characteristic of the load we have current harmonics or current distortion is generated but in certain condition even if load is a linear load but if we apply a voltage waveform with significant voltage distortion then even also in case of linear load we will have a current distortion Mostly, the major causes of current distortion are non-linear loads. For example, if we have adjustable speed drives, fluorescent lighting, rectifier bank, computer and data processing loads, arc furnish, etc. are the number of non-linear loads which causes very high current distortion now let us study 
about individual harmonic distortion individual harmonic distortion normally it is indicated with ihd is the ratio between the root mean square value of the individual harmonics and the rms value of the fundamental so when we calculate individual level of harmonic distortion in each harmonic number or harmonic frequency then it is a ratio of rms value of the individual harmonic to the rms value of the fundamental wave so ihd n n is number of harmonics and that is a in divided by i1 in that is rms value of n number of harmonics and i1 that is a rms value of the fundamental waveform so this way we can calculate individual harmonic distortion of any number of harmonics and then we have total harmonic distortion the method of quantifying the harmonics is known as a harmonic distortion based on fundamental total harmonic distortion normally it is indicated as thd is a term used to describe the net deviation of a non linear waveform from ideal sine waveform characteristic so thd is very important normally it is indicated in percentage so we can have a percentage that our waveform how much it is deviated from the ideal sine waveform total harmonic distortion is the ratio between the rms value of the harmonics now it is different from the individual harmonic distortion in case of total harmonic distortion total harmonic distortion is the ratio between the rms value of the harmonics and the rms value of the fundamental for example if a non linear current has a fundamental component of i1 and harmonic components of i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 i7 and so on then the rms value of the harmonics first we have to calculate rms value of the harmonic component and ih that is the rms value and h suffix for harmonics and that is a square root of i2 square plus i3 square plus i4 square plus i5 square and so on so this way we calculate a rms value of the harmonics component and then we able to calculate total harmonic distortion and that is a ratio of rms value of the harmonic current as well as rms value of the fundamental so here we have taken ih that is a rms value of the all harmonics and i1 that is rms value of the fundamental and it is multiplied by 100 to indicate total harmonic distortion into percentage so as we discussed earlier total harmonic distortion to calculate the total harmonic distortion is very important because with the help of total harmonic distortion we can easily anticipate that uh, our complex or composite waveform is how much deviated from the ideal sine waveform so thank you very much for watching my video keep watching thank you very much